this video, one of the most astonishing jaw-dropping case reports I have ever come across. A 60-year-old man with diabetic kidney disease and colon cancer staring dialysis in the face. His creatinine shot up to 9.6 mg per dl, a level that basically screams emergency dialysis. But he didn't give up. Instead, he tried something bold, radical. He started a renal diet centered around a food that's often demonized for kidney patients. A food many are told to avoid even before reaching advanced CKD. And then, the impossible happened. His creatinine dropped, his kidney function skyrocketed, and he walked away from dialysis. All because of one food, a forbidden food. Catherine here, I'm a doctor of natural medicine and today's case report has everything I love about science when it's done right. A patient defying the odds, a team of researchers brave enough to challenge outdated beliefs, a patient with chronic kidney disease overcoming the biggest challenges. And most of all, a real-life, measurable improvement in kidney function that seems more like something out of a movie. Seriously, this isn't just a medical report, it's a Christopher Nolan plot twist disguised as science. But with one major difference, every single part of this actually happened, published in a prestigious medical journal. This study documents a recovery that could change how we view diet and advanced CKD. The treatment, the turnaround, and the patient's relentless hope, all of it is here. Now, before we jump into the miracle fruit and how to safely include it in your regimen, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tap the notification bell, share this video to follow me on all of my socials and when you're done, get yourself a plane and start skywriting my name in the sky. I want to see my name up there by sunset. Okay, now let's reveal the forbidden food that helped this man dodge dialysis. Now guys, if you've been watching this video or if you have eyeballs and looked at the thumbnail, you probably already know what the forbidden food is. Watermelon! Yes, watermelon! The fruit your nephrologist told you to treat like Voldemort. He who must not be named. Don't say it, don't eat it, don't look at it, don't even think about it. Voldemort. Shh. And I already know what you may be thinking. How can a food that's basically sugary water with potassium help a stage 5 CKD patient with diabetes improve? And that's exactly what makes this case study so exciting. Because not only did watermelon help this stage 5 diabetic CKD patient improve, it actually helped him avoid dialysis. And this, my friends, is what science is supposed to do. Challenge the status quo. Not just repeat whatever some crusty textbook printed in 1987 says. I mean, come on, if we followed that logic, we'd still be using leeches to balance the humors and blaming kidney disease on anti-nutrients. So, what makes watermelon so special, you ask? Well, despite what most people think, watermelon is a real super food. It's true, and there is one antioxidant in particular that you can get from watermelon that has huge kidney protecting benefits. Lycopene. Lycopene is an incredibly powerful antioxidant. It can protect from free radical damage, of course, but there is more to lycopene than just its antioxidant function. It is also linked to lowered blood pressure and improved heart and vascular health. Lycopene seems to be especially effective against diabetes-induced kidney disease. And in people with kidney disease in general, having higher amounts of lycopene in blood is associated with less risk of death. 
So yeah, this is a very powerful antioxidant and it can make a difference. And it's thanks to this antioxidant that watermelon made a huge difference for this patient. Now maybe you're thinking, Catherine, what if I don't like watermelon? What if I can't find it? What if my dog judges me when I eat it out of the fridge at 2 a.m.? Great questions! The good news is, there are other foods rich in lycopene. And do you know which food is famous for having lots of this incredible kidney-saving antioxidant lycopene? And yeah, I know what you are about to say, tomatoes! And yeah, don't get me wrong, tomatoes have a lot of lycopene. And you can also cook tomatoes in order to make the lycopene even more bioavailable. And as we can see, when tomatoes are dried or in a sauce or paste, the concentration of everything in them raises, including lycopene, which is good. So a few other options are also available, not just watermelon. But I usually never recommend tomato sauce or paste to CKD patients because the concentration of potassium is also huge. And yeah, tomatoes are great. Sure, but here's the truth bomb. As you can clearly see from my table, watermelon has twice the lycopene of fresh tomatoes per 100 grams. And nobody, and I mean nobody, is eating just 100 grams of watermelon. That's a single sad cube. That's an insult. That's not a serving. That's a teaser. And that's why watermelon is so great. Now, if you look at my table here, there is also a food everyone must avoid. Grapefruit. Don't even look at it. I mean, if you see a grapefruit walking toward you on the street crossed to the other side, that fruit is not your friend. Why, you ask? Because it messes with your liver enzymes, CYP3A4, if you want to sound smart, and turns your medications into either radioactive poison or tap water. There is no in-between. But yeah, the other food here can be added to your diet. So start adding more lycopene naturally to your diet and your kidneys will thank you. However, the patient of the case study we are examining today improved with watermelon, not tomatoes. In fact, as I was saying, you can eat a lot of watermelon without problems. And frankly, I don't need an excuse to eat more watermelon. I will fight a raccoon for the last slice if I have to. But is lycopene alone enough to help someone with stage 5 CKD? Alright, back to the case report because watermelon isn't just all about antioxidants and lycopene. Something else the paper mentions are arginine and citrulline. But why are those relevant for this miraculous healing, you ask? Well, I could go full biochemist on you and start breaking down nitric oxide pathways and endothelial function, but you're here for kidneys friendly foods and Zaz, not a PhD in molecular biology. So here's the deal. Arginine and citrulline are blood flow boosters, all right? They relax your arteries, they lower your blood pressure. Basically, they make your blood vessels more flexible than a yoga instructor. And they do work, especially citrulline. Some people even take citrulline as a natural alternative to bedroom pharmaceuticals. Yep. Not only does it improve blood flow to the genital area, it also supports blood flow to your kidneys. Because, believe it or not, your kidneys need blood too. Shocking, I know. And studies are also speculating that citrulline kidney protecting ability especially benefits people with diabetic kidney disease, like the patient of the study we are examining today. Now, Research on human about citrulline for CKD is still not conclusive, but thanks to studies on animals like this one, we know what citrulline does in the human body, and I would totally expect it to work in humans as well. Because, you see, no other food in existence has more citrulline proportion than watermelon. So yeah, add watermelon to your diet. Really, no excuses not to, especially in moderation. I mean, it has tons of lycopene and citrulline. And as we have seen, they are incredible when it comes to protecting the kidneys. 
And there are also other foods we should consider if our goal is adding more lycopene and citrulline to our diet. Let's take a look at my trusty table of foods with lycopene and citrulline. Some incredibly healthy foods here. Take a screenshot right now, tattoo it on your fridge, do whatever you need to do. But don't skip this part, you will see some great sources of both lycopene and citrulline and you will also find their potassium content. Now, let's highlight a few surprise entries. The goal is, of course, finding foods that everyone will be able to add to their diet such as cucumber, the unsung hero of hydration, basically the bitter version of watermelon, no lycopene but solid amounts of citrulline, very low in potassium and frankly useful in more than just eye masks. Bonus, eat it at the start of your meal to help stabilize blood sugar. Because cucumber also has a lot of fiber, especially if you keep the peel. Yeah, cucumber is the appetizer that says, I care about my kidneys. Now, there is one more food in this list with both lycopene and citrulline, a food that I usually recommend because it has been thoroughly studied for its anti-diabetes properties. I'm talking about bitter melon, of course, which is low enough in potassium to be safe and that can also be cooked to improve lycopene absorption. And well, it doesn't taste nearly as good as watermelon, but hey, bitter melon is actually one of the foods with the most powerful medical properties you can put on your table. Now, zucchini, this food is also worth mentioning because even if lycopene and citrulline levels are not really that high, zucchini is still very healthy, low in calories, full of fiber, it's also super rich in antioxidants, especially vitamin A and vitamin C, and if you roast it right, it won't even taste like sadness. But if you add all these foods to your diet, which you actually could, as long as you follow the recommendations to limit potassium you see in my table, the amount of antioxidants, vitamins, and essential nutrients you add is going to be absolutely outstanding. You are going to add tons of fiber, and that alone is already worth all the effort and beta-carotene, quercetin, folate, lutein, zeaxanthin, other vitamins, essential minerals, it's a long list, so take a look at the foods you see on screen and consider adding them to your diet. That said, there is a question that I really think is brewing in your mind right now. Is adding watermelon going to be enough to stop stage 5 CKD? Well, no, this is not how it works. So here is the thing, the researchers that published this study are attributing a lot of the incredible results this man got with his diabetes and CKD to watermelon. I mean, they have even included that the patient never made any change to his drugs. So is it just watermelon? Because yes, while the study made it sound like watermelon is the food version of the holy grail, I mean, if you read all the study today's video is based on, you will start to think that these researchers believe everything revolves around watermelon. It's almost like the whole planet Earth is made of watermelon. I mean, come on, the study made it sound like the man replaced his entire pancreas with a watermelon wedge. But me, don't get me wrong, I love watermelon. Wow. I eat it every day during summer and in the winter I eat honeydew melon pretending it's watermelon. But I'm not one of those watermelon earth truthers. I'm not putting it on my flag or naming my firstborn citrulina. I'm someone who believes that there is more to the human experience than just watermelon. I believe in a more holistic approach. So, is there a chance this patient improved not just due to watermelon but also due to something else? Even if, as the researchers pointed out, the patient didn't change any of his medications, he just started to eat a ton of watermelon. Because guys, here's the thing, this video, it's not me saying eat watermelon and all your problems will disappear. No. What I'm actually saying is eat all the right foods like the ones we covered today because they can help, but only when they're part of a plan, a real comprehensive plan. Because what my clinical experience teaches me is that when the right treatment finally starts, the results can be life 
changing. And I'm not just talking about fruits and veggies. You also need to make sure your diabetes and blood pressure are under control. Your doctor is monitoring your serum phosphorus, your PTH, and your calcium levels. Your anemia is diagnosed properly and addressed with the right tests, not just here's some iron, good luck. Because these are all essential parts of a successful kidney treatment. And yet, they are the parts that get skipped, overlooked, or delayed again and again. So, if you're sitting there wondering, am I actually getting the right care? Well, maybe it's time to stop guessing. I'm here to help you take the guesswork out of your diet and your treatment. I now offer remote one-on-one -on -one consultations where we look at everything your lab results, your symptoms, your needs, and build a plan in a diet that actually work. And yes, that includes a fully customized renal diet crafted for your stage of CKD, your lifestyle, and your lab work. Because real results don't come from trial and error. They come from clarity, strategy, and a treatment that fits you like a glove. So if you're ready to stop just hoping your next labs will be better and finally start seeing real improvement, send me an email, katherine at newhopeforkidneypatients.com or click the link in the description below. Just don't wait too long. I only take on a limited number of patients at a time and I'd love to help you get there because your kidneys are worth it and so are you. Okay guys, time now to ask the most important question about watermelon. The question we've all been dancing around like it's the last piece of cake at the dialysis center potluck. Is the earth really made of watermelon? No, 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 that, not that one. Scene 6, take 5. The question I always get in comment when I mention any fruit at all. Can diabetics really eat watermelon? Shouldn't they eat more protein instead? like a grilled chicken breast on a bacon wrap while whispering no carbs into a mirror? Short answer, yes, they can. They absolutely can eat watermelon. And if that makes your favorite keto influencer cry into their dish of raw pastured butter, good. Let me make this clear. Watermelon is not the enemy. It's not out here secretly plotting to destroy your pancreas. It's not texting insulin at 3 a.m. saying, you up? In fact, watermelon is not just safe for people with diabetes. It's one of the best fruits to include in a low-protein, kidney-friendly diet. Why? Because it's low in potassium per portion, hydrating, packed with antioxidants, and relatively low in sugar per gram compared to a lot of other fruits. So where does this fear of watermelon come from? Well, probably the same place that told you carbs are the devil and broccoli causes depression. The carnivore keto paleo influencer mafia. You know the type, right? So grapes first. You think it's a fruit. It's healthy. It's natural. It's good for me, right? Well, actually, all the fruit that we find today in supermarkets is not natural. A pocket of sugar. And so a grape, when you look at it, actually, it's just a big dose of sugar. It's in the fruit format, so people think it's good for them. But actually, when it comes to your glucose levels, it's just big glucose spikes. Yeah, like that. They've got a diploma from the University of TikTok and master in scaring people about fruit. These are the folks who believe carbs are worse than crime. They look at fruit and scream toxin. Meanwhile, they're over there eating liver paste by the spoonful and wondering why their blood pressure is a piñata. Look guys, nobody in the history of humankind has developed type 2 diabetes from eating watermelon. Yes, fruit contains sugar, so does your blood. That's literally how your body works. But guess what? The sugar in a piece of fruit is not the same as the sugar in a frosted cupcake. What makes the difference is the dose. It's like saying a sip of water and a tsunami are both just water. Technically true. Practically, you're drowning in one of them. So, the next time a keto evangelist tries to scare you out of eating a slice of watermelon, just remember the scientific community looks at keto influencers the same way it looks at flat earthers, alright? Bottom line, nobody ever got diabetes eating fruit. 
relax and guys if you want to learn more about the renal diet and how it helps the kidneys my video up here is for you and this is all for today thank you for watching god bless you all ciao